I work with Waikato DHB and the Older Persons and Rehabilitation Department, and my expertise is in physical medicine and rehabilitation. Started off with environmental enrichment in animals, showing that in animals there are new neurons and new synapses, which are new thinking parts of the brain and new connections to the brain. And what I'm doing now is applying that to patients that have had brain injuries, but mostly strokes. Most of our patients are pretty severe after their stroke. And so what we do is we use the plasticity of the brain, not just with therapy, but also with some medications that have been shown to increase what they call the spontaneous plasticity in the brain, meaning that there are new neurons and there are new synapses on these neurons. The idea used to be that we're born with a certain number of brain cells and a certain number of connections. And from that point on that we're birth, all we do is age and those nerve cells and connections die. After I initially published that for about 20 or 30 years, the concept of neurogenesis or new neurons in the brain wasn't accepted. Since that time, people are starting to apply that to stroke patients. We're using medications that stimulate those cell growth serotonin products and things with dopaminergic products. Sometimes they're typically antidepressant medications. And it's been shown in a lot of research and in our clinical setting to improve the recovery of patients, especially with motor deficits, and we believe also with speech deficits. We then wanted to look clinically to combine projects that involve patients with humans, not just using medications, but medications in combined with physiotherapy. And we also use physiotherapy, some new techniques called mirror therapy. We're recently introducing music therapy as well. So with those medications and with therapy and with encouragement, the patients slowly start regaining use of their arms. We start with very small steps, you know, they don't all of a sudden pick up a cup. They may be able to just flex their fingers just a teeny bit, and then you get very excited about that.